footage coming out in the past 72 hours, and what you are witnessing is not taking place in the Middle East or in the Gaza Strip, but right here in the United States, in cities like New York, Chicago, New Orleans, on U.S. soil, there are protests and attacks taking place, and what we're hearing is that this will intensify, that this war is nowhere near done, Israel has said. And just the other day, I let you know that we had heard from the foreign minister for Iran who warned the United States that if this war continues, that the United States would not be spared from their fire, and that there is concern that a lot of the people that could attack us here on U.S. soil are already here and have already made their way through the southern border. Now, in addition to that, I just shared with you yesterday the breaking news, literally hours after it had taken place, that in Russia, an airport was overtaken by pro-Palestinian protesters, and they went out onto the runways and were going from plane to plane seeking out Jewish refugees. And now we're hearing that refugees coming here to the United States are saying they are concerned about their safety, even being here on U.S. soil. They do not feel safe with what's taking place. Now, I'm going to share with you the latest video footage coming out on this, and I want to warn you, it is intense. However, I do believe that knowledge is power, and we need to know what is going on. And if you appreciate the updates, keeping you up to speed on everything taking place, do me a favor, smash the like button, just takes a second. And if you want to stay up to date, it's totally U.S. Peacekeeper on it. I don't know what that means exactly. Does it say Beretta on it? You got a bunch of Berettas? Those are definitely guns. Look at that. It says Beretta something here. You got, you got, those are guns right there, homie. Those are, those are guns. You guys got to carry this stuff yourself. You guys don't have anybody who can help you do this? I don't know what the Shalom, shalom. Keep us a sheep. Y'all still back with another lesson. The Lord's with this video is edifying. I like to first start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rikakwa Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. And shalom to the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000. All right. And, uh, Today's lesson will be entitled, America is about to become a war zone, weeping and mourning. All right. And uh, it's inspired, as you can see, by the three clips I had playing at the beginning of the video. All right. And it's uh, and in the first video, as you can see, it's going into, you know, how America is under attack. All right. And uh, it being under attack, you know, with uh, from the Palestinians and uh, well, you know, scriptures say be not ignorant of Esau's advice. It's it, they say Palestinians, but I, we know these could be, you know, people Esau hired, you know. All right. And, uh, you know, just protest and uproars and, you know, attacks on um, it says uh guess airports and uh and in and, in and, and new york and uh new orleans and uh, you know just these bigger cities all right and uh like i said uh going back to thailand america this this, this is just the this is just the the beginning of america is about to become a war zone all right weeping and more this is the beginning all right and we just gonna get into you know well, you know the beginning of it uh what it's leading to and what ultimately is gonna end up being. All right. So uh you just gotta, you know, it, it's why you gotta you know constantly meditate on, you know, prophecy. All right, it says let's grab that real quick first. So I can yeah. Uh, it's the book of Sirach 39 and 1. It reads, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecy. And be occupied in prophecy. All right. And be occupied in prophecy. You know, so being occupied in prophecy is always, hey, lining up prophecy with what's going on in today's world all right and uh we know we know you know why, why do you think the lord was constantly mentioning wars 
rumors of wars, all right? Because he, he knew that we would see these wars, all right? He knew what time would come and, and that we would see, you know, wars and rumors of wars. We've been hearing the rumors of wars since, um, I want to say, February 2022, all right? Now we see, and, and, and ever since then, it's been cranking up more and more and more, all right? Let's grab that rumors of war. In the book of Matthew. Matthew 24 and 6. And it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Nine, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated all nations for my name's sake. All right. Uh, and and you know everything everything is happening exactly the way the Lord said it would. All right, like I said, like Scripture said, these are the beginning of sorrows. We just said we at the beginning of this. All right, we you know that's, that's why Scripture say measure the time diligently. Let's grab that. So 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 that you know where we at in this thing. All right. Like I said it's about you know being occupied in prophecy. All right, you you want to know. Where we at in prophecy? You want to know is we at the end, or we at the beginning, or in the middle? All right. Second Ezra nine and one, and it reads, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, two. Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right, and this is that time, man. All right, uh, let's just grab three. This is good. Therefore, when thou shalt see, then, therefore, when thou shalt be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou understand, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things. From the days that were from before the were before the even from the beginning. All right. So this is you know this is just this is this is the beginning of the end. All right. Because the Lord best spoke of these things even from the beginning. So this is the beginning of the end. All right. Let's grab five for like as all things that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end. And the end is manifest. Six, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and the endings and effects and signs. Like I said, this is the beginning of the end. And how do we know that? By the effects and signs. And what are those effects and signs? Wars and rumors of wars, pestilence, earthquakes, uproars in the people. All right, uproars in the world. All right, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. All right. Uh, I think that's good on that. But yeah, you know, everything everything is happening exactly the way the Lord said it would. Like I said, we're hearing the wars, all right, and we're seeing nation against nation. We're seeing famines, and we're we seeing pestilence, all right. Uh, and these things, you know, ultimately, and once it crank up more at the end of this thing, these things will be a result of the MOTB. All right, the the the, the famines, pestilence, you know, things of that nature. All right, even even this even this war. All right, but but we know that you know, but we know you know because that's why scripture say this is not the end. All right, because we know these things: pestilence, famines, earthquakes, uproars, kingdom is kingdom, nation against nation, and most importantly. The MOTB, the RFID chip, this digital currency. All right, this must happen before World War Three. That's why Lord said this is not the end. 
Going back to Matthew. Let's grab that one more, one more time. Uh, Matthew 24 and 6. And you should hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right. And like I said, we know the end is not yet. Because it says what it says. For all these things must come to pass. All these things. What are all these things? All right. Rumors of wars. All right. Uproars of people. Famines, pestilence, earthquakes, kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation. And like I said, most importantly, the MOTB. All right. That's so why scripture say that. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Like I said, this is just the beginning of the end. That's why you got to measure the time down diligently. Going back to uh, second Ezra's man. All right. Uh, but yeah, like I said, all these things really being the result of the MOTB. All right. And we know that this must happen before World War Three, and persecution will take place, you know, at the same time. All right. And at the same time, we're going to be hated of all nations. All right. We will, you know, and, uh, And, and you know, understand all uh, uh, all these nations, a lot of these nations, uh, all these nations will, will will take the mark. They will bow down to the beast. All right, and uh, except for the men of the Lord. All right, except for the women of the Lord. Let's grab that in Revelation. Let's grab that. Revelation thirteen and sixteen, and it reads, and he causes all, all right, both small and great, rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, their digital and digital currency, man, their RFID chip. All right, that, you know, that way to buy and sell. All right, let's get that. 17, that, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right, so it says, come back at 16, and he calls up all, like I said, all these nations. All right, so we're going to be hated. Of, of our nation because we won't we won't take this mark all right um like i said this and and, and understand we know right now us being in we being in the beginning stages of this war all right rumors of wars all right and wars all right we you know understand you know the motb this is going to take place at the peak all right the peak of world war three soon as we think it's it's the end. As soon as we think it's, you know, it's, it's heating up, all right, that chip is going to be made mandatory, all right? That's that's how, this, and, and this is how, this is how, uh, this is how you're able to cause, you know, everybody to take that mark, man, all right? And uh, I, I, I posted a picture. Uh, it said 10 million illegals will be forced, uh, what, 10 million illegals had, uh, just came through the border man and all these all these illegals these illegals from other nations right all right they gonna they gonna be forced to take that chip they gonna if you're gonna be a part of this world if you're gonna be a part of east south society you will have to take this this chip man it's motb all right that's that that's 10 million that, that, that's illegal immigrants and, and of course they're gonna want to be you know those who are not you know undercover those who are not sent here to, you know, destroy and kill, things of that nature, they gonna wanna, you know, they gonna they gonna need to take that mark, man. All right. Uh and ultimately, you know, this is gonna lead to what? That our temptation. All right, let's grab that. Revelation three. Revelation three. And star and eight and it reads i know thy works behold i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it for that for that has a little strength has kept my word and has not denied my name behold i will make them of sin of the synagogue of satan which say they are jews and are not but do lie behold i will make them come to Come, make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Like I said, 
And we won't take that mark, all right? And uh, our nation is going to see that. And our nation is going to know that. And it's going to be obvious you know, who we are because we prophesy these things, all right? I will cause thee, to, I, will, I, will, I, will, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. So, you know, those so-called J-O-O -O people, when, like I said, they won't know we the true people, people because, because we prophesied these events. We prophesied the wars, the famines, the pestilence, the MOTB. All right. And like I said, by this time, you know, by this time, the famine, the famine of the word will be in full effect, you know, but by the way of the MOTB and persecution. And, and, and why persecution? Because Esau going to be persecuting those who don't take the mark, man. All right. So, like I said, it's going to be obvious who's most high chosen people because they won't take this mark. And, how it's gonna, and, and what's going to happen to those who don't take the mark? Persecution. All right. And like I said, this will lead to ultimately the famine of the word. All right, let's grab that. Amos 8. This is the book of Amos chapter 8 verses 9. And it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord, Yahweh, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in clear day. All right, so we know that we know the sun won't really go down at lunchtime. All right, so what the Lord is saying is, you know, he, he gonna shorten the days, man. All right, meaning persecution. So like you back. Yes, but uh, well, I guess going back to nine, let's read nine again. That, that, um, and it shall come to pass. This is Amos 8 and 9. And it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will cause his sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in clear day. Meaning, um, you know, persecution, man. He gonna shorten the days. Meaning, your days shall be cut, your days will be cut short. All right, let's get 10. And I will turn your feast into mourning. And all your songs unto lamentation. And it will bring up sackcloth upon all loins. And baldness upon every head. And I will make it as the morning of an only sun. And the end thereof as a bitter day. Alright. Meaning. There will be no more. There, there, there will be no no more freedom man. What they say, what, what they say America is. The land of the free. There will be no more freedom. There will be no more freedom of speech. No more going to and fro. No more buying and selling without with the mark. All right. No more hot girl summer. Esau going. Esau going lock. He going to lock it down, man. He going to lock it down, and he going to be forced to take that beast, take that mark, to participate in society, or you know, or or live off the grid. Or if you're either going to take it or you not. All right. Let's read eleven. Behold, the day is come, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. All right. You won't you won't you won't be allowed out in society if you don't have this mark, man. All right. This this and this this will be one into the martial law era. All right. They gonna be, you know, making sure everybody got their mark. Make sure everybody, you know, if you haven't received a mark, they're going to make sure you get it. And it's going to be forced, all right? So, like I said, you won't be allowed in society if you don't have this mark, all right? And it's going to put the prophets, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be that family of the It's going to put the prophets up. Either you take the mark or be persecuted, all right? That's what you think they've got those guillotines for, all right? Let's grab that. Those will be headed, all right? Let's grab that real quick. Because understand, the men of the Lord won't be taking the mark. Revelation 24, and I saw the, and I saw thrones, and they that, and they set upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them 
that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they live and reign with Yahweh Shah for a thousand years. So I'm about the kingdom of heaven, man. So for all the brothers, you know, not all the brothers, but you know, those ordained, those who you know, the Lord set their light out to be persecuted for this truth. Right? They will be beheaded, but they will reign with the Lord for a thousand years. I mean, I'm talking about the kingdom of heaven. So, you know, Lord's will this video is edifying. I'd like to close out, give it all praise, honor and glory to the most high. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Shalom. Shalom to the whole elect.